Tell me how you breathe. That I will tell you who you are. Yes, 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 yes. Based on your breath, man. Based on your capacity to infuse your consciousness with life. Because that is breathing at the end of the day. What is life? The continuity, the progressive realization of air in your human lungs, the progressive materialization of breathing. What is death or scarcity of life? Well, the cease of breathing. The cease of breathing is death. So every time that you are breathing, you are living. Now, not everyone is living in the same level. Level? Can you agree with me? No. Obviously, we, we live in different levels, in different multiverses. Every level represents a, new, a universe. And you may say, oh, that's very awesome, right? So what then determines different multiverses of existence? Well, a lot of things, you know, based on consciousness, uh, on the content of your consciousness, uh, the level of your consciousness, those things will determine. But you know what, what also determines a lot, a lot the different multiverses that you can live? The degree of your breathing. The degree of your breathing, the frequency of your breath, the profundity and deepness of your respiration, that is also something that will determine the quality of your multiverse. Just think about a guru right now that is living in a mountain, in the top of a mountain in India right now, and he's breathing every day to his genitals. He's breathing to his testicles. He's breathing to his eggs, if he's a woman, okay? Do you think he's living in your same universe? He's breathing all the time, completely. He is fusing his consciousness with the omnipresence of the divine breathing. And you that are so busy here in the Western world, and you that are so busy in your work, in your job, with your family, with the social media, with the Instagram, you are short breathing every day and you know it, you are not breathing as you are supposed to, you are having a bad posture, you have back pain of all that bad, bad posture because you are doing everything wrong and do you think that you live in the same multiverse that that hypothetic guru on India, man, that is just so foolish, that is so, so arrogant from your part to think that you are living, that you deserve the same multiverse that than that, uh, you know, example, that hypothetical guru. You don't deserve the same space. You don't deserve nothing. Why not? Because you are not breathing the same. You are not contributing to the universe in the same way. One of you is really connecting with the source of life. One of you is really preoccupied with breathing, with living, with assisting, with devoting every second of life to God through the respiration because every inhalation is a devotion and every exhalation is a prayer. You know, and one of you is preoccupied for that every day of his life. And you that sometimes are preoccupied whenever you are anxious, you remember to breathe. Whenever you, you have insomnia, you remember to breathe. Maybe, maybe when you are meditating, you, you remember to breathe. But hey, tell me how you breathe daily and I will tell you who you are. It is not about, you know, remembering how to breathe good. Sometimes it's about breathing good all the times, all the times, because it's, that is the way how you maintain your body healthy with oxygen and oxygen is air and air is purification of spirit. If you go to earth, air as an element of consciousness, as the representation of air in consciousness is always transformation, movement, thought, imagination, intellectuality, rationalization. So the capacity of you to put imagination into words, 
your inner world into the outer world, that capacity of transformative symbolic meaning, that is your air. And that is proportional to your capacity to breathe in a very symbolical and profound way. So if you breathe better, you articulate better, you can word better realities. And if you can word better real realities, what do you can do also? You can create them. Because whatever you word, you create. Whatever you put into air, into breathing, into inhalation, into exhalation, you bring into the world. That's why there's legends that says that God created the world with a breath. <sighs> And then he created the world because air is creation. You are air and you are what you breathe and how you breathe every day, every instance of your existence. Tell me how you breathe, boy, and I will tell you who you are.